Hello everyone, this is our first installment of Pigs in Space! Man, it must have picked up a lot of cosmic dust. There's a lot of stuff in there. But anyhow, that's not what we're here for. Here just to check out, I got a new model. Well, first one in the uh, 118 scale, uh, Firebird. And I'm hoping to build this one really, really nice. And hoping it turns out really, really nice. But so far it looks actually pretty good. Um, these are the previous models that I had, that's 67. Uh, that's the last one I did. This one here is uh, what, I, what I affectionately call Beldy because she was absolutely evil. Evil car. But she actually looks pretty good for an evil car. But one thing with this one, uh, yes, read the instructions, but also read ahead in the instructions because I missed a couple things in there. I put the battery on the wrong side and there was supposed to be a canister on the other side and some fuel line. And if you put the radiator in before anything, putting those other two things in, it's absolutely impossible to put it in, even though the instructions tell you to do so. Tell them they are full of crap. And this is the first one that I did in quite a long time and I am actually very pleased with this one even though it was kind of a interesting process. These plugs here, these wires, I actually caught from uh, another fellow YouTuber actually showed me how to do that and I thought, hey, well since this one has the Hemi head, let's put the wires on so it actually shows that she is a Hemi which is actually pretty awesome. Now, getting back to this thing, this is a 1979 uh, Firebird, large scale with the 1 16th. It actually looks really good uh, so far. I haven't, like, uh, first thing out of the box, but she had a bunch of mold and mildew on it, and I scrubbed her down. I used a toothbrush, a really old toothbrush. Well, not that old, but anyway. And Dawn, um, dish soap. So hopefully that works. And I use that hair dryer, the Pigs in Space hair dryer, ha ha ha, to dry it off. Because I didn't want to scratch it any before actually doing any sanding or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna do sanding or if I'm just not, but I did know that I needed to get that stuff off of it before priming because if I primed it with all that stuff, well, we'd have a bigger problem. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, so I'm gonna go with black with, uh, with gold stripes. And that's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna use these um, uh, pipes instead of the custom ones, which it came with, which are these guys here, which is really in a lot of nice detail on this stuff. And gold wheels, of course. But these guys, I feel they're more um, for like your old school Corvettes and your AC Cobras and actually my uh, girlfriend's uh, youngest son he said you know what if you were gonna choose them go with these guys because this guy would you know what I think it would look a lot cleaner underneath there too which I agree uh, and this is another thing that I thought was really cool about this kit I don't know if you can see it on here I haven't primed or anything yet but there are uh, wear marks, like there is actually uh, crinkles and creases in the seats, which is actually pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, I thought that was really awesome that they went to that length of detail in this car, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I have seen some videos where guys have put wires and stuff in them. And I think I'm going to try to do that too. 
Um, also because this is a bigger scale model, that would be really nice. I think I'm gonna go with that high rise for the intake. And this thing, even though it is meant for the front plate, and my era, yeah, we did have front plates here in Saskatchewan as well, especially when I knew these cars um, and what I grew up with. But it doesn't look the way I, I always felt that they were bug catchers. <laughs> And they were the only place on the whole car that you'd get bugs and you'd never get them off. Ever. No matter how much you waxed it. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can take that down with a Dremel tool. i got to be careful though if I am going to do that. Um, because I don't want to take too much of the uh, angle off of here because actually I'm kind of an amateur at some of this stuff, um, admittedly, but I know if I take too much, I won't, I, how is it, you can't, you can't add two feet to a board that's two feet too short. <laughs> There's no such thing as a board stretcher, unfortunately, you know, probably send somebody, hundreds of people down to the hardware store, yes, I need a board stretcher. And they all look at you going, what the hell are you on? <laughs> but anyway, and I think I'll go with the gold and black bird. And I'm thinking, which would be nice, would be kind of a black uh, seat or black interior with white seats and that black bird right on the back, which actually would look really, really nice, I think. But I am hoping that this thing turns out and um, and hopefully I'll keep you guys posted and show you what it's all about here. Oh, another thing that I am really, really nerding out about is that I've got openings in the back of these light beagles. And I am thinking because I've got that and that's open too. I'm thinking I want to put a light behind it um, so that it actually shows what it is. And I'm very happy that these guys are made out of rubber. Now, I know other things in past ones is to check to make sure everything kind of lines up before putting it all together, which I am definitely going to make sure they're doing that before gluing and I think I might be getting a different kind of glue too. I think I might be trying for some uh, paint on stuff. But all in all I am very very hopeful of this kit and I'm going to uh, hopefully this thing actually turns out really really nice. I actually had a Trans Am when I was much, much younger, all of for one day. And I kind of, it wasn't the curse like the Camaro curse, because I had a Camaro at one time too, which never, ever, ever, ever left the ground. It never, ever, ever got driving, ever. But the Trans Am, I think, I bought it and didn't have, really have brakes, and then one way or the other, don't ha didn't have it the next day. So, but I'm hoping that this is going to be a nice project, and I'm hoping it's going to turn out. And I'm thinking it probably. I'm thinking it will be probably a good one to do and this is the first time that I've actually done this large scale model ever so this will be a first and I'm really excited about it so I will uh, check and give you updates or whatever it might take me a while to do that though because it's not moving very quick <laughs> So, so it might uh, might take me a while.
but I will uh, I'll keep you guys informed, I guess. Bye-bye.